Thank you for joining us for this episode of Recipe Share, a program on AADL TV where we take a few minutes to talk about recipes in a featured category. Today's category is dressing up. I'm Katie, and as usual, I am joined by Elizabeth and Beth, who are going to tell us about their recipes. So, Elizabeth, tell us what you chose today. All right. Mine is very simple, but um, it basically has the same base, and I modify it based on what I'm making. I originally got this recipe from Love and Lemons, which I know you both are familiar with. Um, I believe I was inspired by one of you, I can't remember who, about a year ago, you were really into making a kind of like tahini based dressing. And I didn't work with tahini too much. So I wanted to give that a go. And um, anyway, so I do this two ways. Um, this there's a tahini sesame ginger version, which I use kind of on like if I make like Asian rice bowls, or if I like make basically what I would consider more like Asian inspired recipes. And then there's a, um, a lemon garlic tahini version, basically the same. So anyway, I'll just tell you about it. So for the sesame ginger tahini dressing, you whisk together three tablespoons of smooth tahini, two tablespoons toasted sesame oil, two tablespoons rice vinegar, tablespoon of soy sauce, um, a heaping teaspoon of grated ginger, um, a teaspoon of maple syrup or honey, and then if you need it, some water to make it um, lighter. And of course, I never measure any of this. I just like put it all in a bowl and just basically look at how much I want. So that's delicious. Drizzle it mostly on top of rice bowls, um, on top of stir fry super, super good. I mean, it's just delicious. And then the other version, basically, instead of sesame um, oil, I use olive oil. Um, instead of rice vinegar, I just use like red wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar. And then I um, don't use soy sauce. I do still use honey. Instead of ginger, I use garlic and I do a squeeze of lemon instead of water. And that is really great. I'm um, like, just roasted veggies or, um, gosh, even on salads, I've used it. So, um, I've really been enjoying this. I've been making both of these now for about six months. I just have all the ingredients on hand all the time to whisk up and just like make a really easy dinner better. Sometimes I even throw it. If I like roast chicken, I'll drizzle a little on. I just feel like it's, they're, they're so delicious. Um, so I've really been enjoying that. Thanks to, I guess, Beth, who first uh, mentioned the, uh, the delicious tahini. And um, yeah, I, uh, I'm going to keep using these and probably keep expanding the things I put them on. So those are kind of my two tahini-based uh, versions from Love and Lemons. Very nice. I, I'm, we're doing stir fry later today, so I... I never thought about using tahini in a in a you know sauce for stir fry. That's amazing. That's funny because that's what I was gonna say too. We've been eating a lot of stir fry lately. We're having it tonight, and so I have everything that you said goes into that tahini ginger dressing. So maybe I'll just whip that up for dinner tonight. That sounds really good. And the other one sounds great for salad. So I'm gonna make them both. Yeah, they're really easy, really good. And like I said, you know, I don't measure, just put it in a bowl, whisk them together and drizzle it on. So couldn't be, couldn't be easier. Um, Beth, tell us about your dressing. All right. Well, we'll be twinning for dinner tonight. It sounds like, um, so, you know, we talked about how dressing up could, it could be like dressing or it could be fancy dinner. Um, but I did end up making a salad dressing. I went with the original Thousand Island dressing recipe, or I mean, it was supposedly the, the original, um, which was, it's with um, mayo. I didn't, I didn't measure either, but it's like a cup and a half of mayo, half a cup of ketchup. The, the uh, true authentic recipe called for a quarter cup of of sweet relish. I don't like sweet relish, but I did. Um, and the, but the recipe I followed from the kitchen, the kitchen, um, 
I think it said three tablespoons of relish. I, I just put in one. And it, so good on me, I think, for being willing, because I don't like sweet relish. But um, so it was ketchup, mayo, sweet relish, um, a little bit of cider vinegar, and a little salt, black pepper. Am I missing something? I think that was it. Yeah. Um, mix it up. And the reason I we just we landed on or that I landed on making that dressing was because we decided to have Rubens this week. So I used it for Reuben. I have a picture of my Reuben and a sa salad with the Thousand Island dressing. So um that was my dressing up. And it was oh, and right, of course, the main thing, the whole reason we went for this recipe was because it had a hard boiled egg in it. Um, now this recipe called for putting the egg through a sieve. Couldn't do that. Um, I just tried grating it and then I ultimately ended up chopping it up. But yeah, that's a typical, uh, an old fashioned way of thickening. So yeah, egg was kind of the key. Um, and I also learned that Russian dressing is different in that it doesn't have the sweet relish. It has horseradish. And there's one other thing. I think lemon juice instead of vinegar. Anyway, learned something. Um, so that's how I dressed up. I was wondering if you were going to bring up Rubens because my mom makes her own Thousand Island recipe, dressing for her Rubens. But now that you mention this, I think she makes Russian dressing because it definitely doesn't have relish in it. It has horseradish. So oh, there now you go. I learned that as well, but she always makes her own for Rubens. Um, so love it. And yeah. Um, yeah, that's yummy. I don't, now I'm, I'm very interested in the, I don't like relish myself. So could, did you find it okay with the small yeah. amount you put in? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was fine because you know, when you, when you get it out of the bottle or something, I mean, I'm used to a little bit of sweet flavor, but I was not uh -huh. going to overdo it. So okay. I was proud of myself for sticking to the recipe and not putting in dill relish because I would have preferred it, but, but it was good. And we had it, you know, cup and for another sandwich yesterday. So, yeah. So let's find out how Katie interpreted dressing up. Well, I also made a salad dressing. So, <laughs> um, but I found my recipe in this book that I got from the library called Polished. It's by Michael Korkos. And I was excited to see this book because it's really cute. And uh, my husband's family is Polish. So I'm always excited to learn more about Polish food. Uh, the recipe that I found in here is for tomatoes and golden berries with fermented Caesar dressing and Parmesan. And I'll show you the little picture that they have in here. So the whole like blurb right before this recipe is all about the dressing. So I feel like that's like the, the highlight of this whole thing. And it's really explaining how he makes a Caesar dressing with using dill pickle juice instead of anchovies because it still has that like deep umami flavor. So I was super excited to try that and see if it would work. Um, so what you do is you take an egg yolk, garlic, pickle brine, mayonnaise, mustard, and Parmesan cheese, put it in a food processor, blend that together for like two minutes until it's smooth. And then you take some oil and you're blending that and just pouring in the oil little by little. So it emulsifies and gets all creamy. I have this little mini blender that I ended up using for this that was perfect. I barely ever use it, but I need to remember it's really great for salad dressings. So then you season that with salt and pepper, and then you take the dressing and you sort of like spread it all over the bottom of your plate. And then you arrange tomatoes over top. Of course, I would have loved to have some fancy heirloom tomatoes, but it is the middle of winter. So I just found like the best on the vine tomatoes that I could find. I find those to be a little bit tastier during the winter. Um, but I got a couple different sizes, slice those up and arrange them over the plate, um, season those with salt, and then you add more dressing over top. You garnish with more Parmesan cheese grated and then some fresh thyme. And then of course it calls for golden berries. That's in the title. They're dried golden berries. It says that you can also sub dried cranberries, 
but I have this thing where I don't like tomatoes and dry berries in combination. I like them separately, but like never together. I just don't. So I went a little off course and I substituted capers for the berries um, just to keep sort of the savory flavor. And I really liked it. I really loved this dressing. Um, it tasted really good. You can't taste the pickle juice in it. It it like it, it has a depth to it, but I don't think that you would identify it as pickle juice were you to just taste it and not know. Uh, it tastes very much like a very good Caesar salad dressing. So I will definitely make this again. Oh, I've got a picture of what my salad looked like. It's quite lovely. Um, I, I really liked it. And I'm excited to try this in summer too, um, when the tomatoes are a little bit more exciting. Do you not like anchovies or were you just curious to try a, something different? I do like anchovies, but okay. I was like, whoa, would that work? <laughs> you know, so I just wanted to see. Just give it a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it. Cool. Yum. I love Caesar dressing. Mm, it was good. Yeah, that's, I love that. What kind of pickles do just you dill. use? Yep, just the, the just I mean, he, there's this whole pickle recipe in this book that, you know, you're supposed oh. to use that particular, like, pickle brine but I was like no just grab me the pickles that are in my fridge just regular dill well I mean I'm picky about my pickles as I've mentioned so um uh, <laughs> but yeah I'd be totally over it I love using pickle brine and um like in marinade so very cool yeah, love it so it was neat Okay, well, we want to thank everybody for watching Recipe Share and be sure to click the link below to look at the event page on aadl.org to find the recipes we talked about and to share your own in the comments. Join us next time when I, our category will be a dish to pass. We're looking forward to seeing what you've been making, so thanks for sharing. Recipe Share, Recipe Share, share a little recipe.